This is MX KDI here of another video. This is, will be a teardown disassembly of the Dell Optiplex 7010. And this is the DT version, the desktop. And it, this is actually like a slimline version. And uh, what we're going to do is uh, first we're going to remove the hard drive here. Remove the caddy right here. Disconnect the cables to it. There's going to be clips right here. Press it up a little bit and it removes it. Let's crack the caddy hard drive. Now we remove the front cover basil here. We see the clips right here. You press them up very gently, very very gently. Press them up and they remove it. The front basil secure locks. This is the Optiplex desktop version. This is like a slim line. You guys can see. Okay, now we're gonna remove the optical drive. Disconnect the cables to it. The SATA cable connector. Okay, now we're gonna move the optical drive. Move that. Now we're gonna disconnect the uh, SATA cables here. Now we're gonna disconnect the USB 3.0 header connector here. You need a flat head screwdriver. Forgot to say, you need to lay, make sure you guys wear latex gloves. You need a Phillips screwdriver. You need a knife here, it's like a blade cutter. And a flathead screwdriver. What you're gonna do is you're gonna press it up. There's a secure lock right here. You're gonna release it. You're gonna look like this, be really gently. Release it, you don't wanna break it off the motherboard. Now we're gonna, there's a, secu there's a middle right here, the pin secure lock for the 24 pin. Press it down, release the, the pin right here. See right there, the middle, you press it down like this, very gently, and release the lock. Now we're gonna disconnect the memory here. Now, we're gonna remove the heat sink fan cooler for the processor here. It's good. You're gonna be using a Phillips screwdriver to get the remove. There's gonna be four pin connector right here, connected to the heatsink fan cooler right here. It has a secure clip right here in the middle. You press it down very gently to release the secure lock right there. Now well, it's actually right there, actually, right here. And you're gonna press it down, release the secure lock so you can release the four pin connection, four pin connection to go into the motherboard and the heatsink fan cooler. So remove it. Now we're gonna remove the processor. There's a clip right here, press it down very gently, move it to the right, and remove the processor. Now, I'm going to remove the four pin right here. And there's a little secure clip right here in the middle too. You press it down right here to release it. The front panel connector for the power switch is going to be right there in the top. Get that disconnected. Right there. Now, we're going to use the Phillips screwdriver. There's going to be three screws on the top. One, two, three. Three in the middle and two in the bottom. Remove the motherboard. There's gonna be two in the bottom. Screws you have to remove with the Phillips screwdriver. So it's using actually eight screws. We've got that removed now. There's a secure clip right here. I'm gonna try to move it up a little bit. Okay, right here. Press it up. Right here to secure. This is a secure bracket. PCI bracket secure lock right here. Press it up and remove the PCI brackets right here. Now, 
what you're going to do is disconnect the power supply. It has a two pin right here. Three at three. It's going to have three screws here. If this is the, the, the desktop, if it's a mini tower, then it's going to have four screws. But it will disconnect it with a Phillips screwdriver at the screws here. And there's going to be right here a secure lock. You press it down. You probably can't see in the video. Right there. You press it down right there. Releases the secure lock for the power supply. Now, I'm going to move the power supply and the cables going to it. Move the power supply. Now, be really careful right here. The front panel cover right here, this is for the USB front panel. Right here, going to the motherboard right here, the front panel here, the connection all the way in the right corner. Be really careful. You need a you need a knife like this cutter, and the clip's gonna be in the top of a little mini screwdriver flathead right there. You have to press up the clips, you have to press it down to release it right here, like that, and uh, releases the front panel, otherwise you're gonna break out the secure locks. And disconnect the, the speaker connector right here. And we can remove the motherboard now. This motherboard is considered a micro ATX. So remove the motherboard. And that's about it guys. So we moved the PCI brackets. And the cables, you can remove the uh, right here, the front panel right here, the, the system fan connect system fan right here. It's actually using the plastic uh, right here. It's in rubber. I'm not gonna remove it, but I'm gonna remove the speaker here. Right there. This is internal speaker. Get that removed. So yeah, guys, this is gonna be the end of the video. This is for the Dell Optiplex 7010 desktop version. This is the teardown disassembly. Thanks for watching. Bye.